It is now officially regional time here in Tallahassee. Welcome to Hauser Stadium, Seminole fans. I'm Scott Kodak here for Seminoles.com. Regional play begins this weekend. Alabama, Savannah State, and Troy come in to face off against Florida State. It's the opportunity the Seminoles have been working for all year. Really one of the best times of the entire academic year. Let's get right to your top three storylines. The first is the young man the Seminoles will see on Friday night at 5 p.m. That is the right-hander in Kyle McGowan. This is one of the best pitchers the Seminoles might have seen all season. He's 12-1, and one, a 1.33 ERA, has 129 strikeouts. The guy has been lights out. Pitches in the MEAC has seen some good competition all year. His only loss coming to Bethune-Cookman, a team the Seminoles have seen quite a few times in the regionals over the years. McGowan, frankly, hasn't seen this kind of environment in college baseball. Yes, Savannah State did play Georgia Tech earlier in the season. But this is an environment at Hauser Stadium. When this crowd gets behind the Knolls, it is an electric atmosphere and one of the toughest places to play in the country. Your second storyline is the bullpen. Before last week's ACC tournament, the Seminole bullpen had only given up two home runs on the season. Well, we all know how last week turned out. But the flip side of this and the positive is that this is the weekend the bullpen gets things turned around. This is the key when you enter into the postseason to have a great bullpen that can really relieve your starters. Remember, the Seminole starting pitching has really been outstanding. Every one of the starters got a no decision last week in the tournament, but Luke Weaver, Seitz, and Lee Brandt, they all look great. That's going to pay great dividends as we head into the postseason, especially when that bullpen gets things together this weekend. And your third and final storyline, we mentioned a little bit in the beginning, is just how great this time of year is. The one thing about Hauser Stadium is when the fans come out and pack this place, it's one of the toughest places to play in the entire country. Home field advantage is so key in the postseason. The Seminoles have earned a national seed, so should they win this weekend, they will advance to host a Super Regional next week paired with the Bloomington, Indiana Regional. Of course, Seminole fans, make sure you stay with us here at Seminoles.com for the best complete coverage of Florida State baseball this weekend. It's that time of year we all have been looking forward to. It's the NCAA tournament and the time for the Seminoles to make that road back to Omaha. So here for Seminoles.com on Thursday afternoon, I'm Scott Kodak for Seminoles.com.